the morning. I'm just waking up. Uh, yeah. Just got finished watching my team make the playoffs. My football team. I got some other stuff to do today, but I'll keep y'all posted. I'm going to just be recording all day today and post for y'all today. So, good morning and let's have a good day today. I know it'll be Young JT. Let's continue with the day, homie. Man, I just got some shit. I think I'm about to fuck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go uh, early next, later on today. I'm gonna go uh, talk about this football team playoff uh, series we're about to go through. Coming up, and oh, what, what's been going on with the football team after this? All right, so I'm gonna keep y'all posted. For right now, unless you goes to another team and starts going off. Starts going like Patrick Holmes wise or something like that. Till then he's a bust. Okay. Let me talk about yesterday now. Me hit the playoffs. Yes. Finally for the first time since twenty fifteen. Alright. Got we got Alex Smith back. Back on energy for like two weeks. He helped us win. He, he was one of the reasons we won. Second reason, our defense. That D-line, Chase Young, Dwayne Payne, Jonathan Allen, and Montez Sweat. They are beast on that D-line. I think they I think they're gonna be the reason we probably win on Sunday. Not saying we might, not saying we will, we might win. If that our defense provides like they have been all all season against Tom Brady, we are in the divisional round like that. Next, cut into a Haskins. Not that I like it, but it was a good decision. Not showing he was mature. Wasn't winning games for us. He won one game for us, and that was when we won against the Eagles. It's only because of the defense. He literally threw two interceptions in the game for us to clinch the, clinch the division the week before yesterday. And then before that, he was found on video tape freaking at the strip club with no mask on. Like, bro, you, I, you know you're still a kid. Like, you know you're still, not a kid, but you're still young. But, you know what's bad? I ain't gonna say that. But, bro, like, come on. You're, you're like, the French, supposed to be the franchise quarterback. Coming out the first round. You was drafted out the first round. You could have been drafted out the second round or third round. But nope. We said we need this dude. And we we took and we took you out the first round with the, our 15th overall pick. And then we got Martin Sweat. That was that was the that was, that was a good one for us. I, for right now, I'm saying Dwayne Haskins was a bust. For right now. Unless he goes to another team and starts going off, starts going like Patrick Holmes wise or something like that. Till then, he's a bust. Next, Ron Rivera and Jack. Ron Rivera is a good head coach. He's showing it with Carolina. He's now showing it with us. With his with winning the division, his first year as our coach, that's actually good. And then we got Jack Del Rio as our defensive coordinator. He's in all the. He he is showing good. He's showing good schemes in defensive in the in the defense. Let's see what else. Terry McCorn should have been a pro, should have been put in the Pro Bowl. I think they said they're not having a Pro Bowl this year, but like if they was, he should have been in it. Oh, no, uh, who do I say? Who do I say over? I can't even. If I look over it again, I'll uh, I I put it out it in, but and then who else? Montez Sweat. And me and John, man, Montez Sweat mostly. Let he led our team in sacks. Yes, Chase was doing good, but also Montez Sweat. He led our he led our team in what with nine, ten sacks on the season. Sounds like a pro bowl to me. Nine sacks. I don't know how many tackles he had. Probably over fifty. An interception, four touchdowns. 
like three pass deflections. I mean, what what can you say? Uh, is that arguable? You gotta let me know in the comments about that one. Other than that, right now, my opinion, I give us at least 48, 49% chance to beat the Bucks. Mostly because of the offense. If they have Mike Evans, put us down 47 because. I'm trying to see. I'm, I wonder who, who's going to guard. Who's going to be able to guard up on Mike Evans? You got because they got Mike Evans, Chris Chris Godwin, Antonio Brown, and now Scotty Miller. Like I was going to see before, then he was a no name. Now he's like he's kind of he was having a good season. So I wonder who's going to guard up on him. As long as we can get pressure, I feel like as long as we get pressure on Brady, you win the game. We get pressure on Brady. Three things. Get pressure on Brady. Get the running game going. And try and at least be be accurate with the pass passing game. Plus good coverage. We got we got we got to shut down the receivers. We got to make it hard for them to get receptions. Other than that, get less penalties. Other than that. We if we do all that, we probably should be able to win, and they can go to the division round. Probably play either the Packers or whoever wins between who was it, the Seahawks and the Saint, the Seahawks and the Rams. So whoever went between those three. So without further ado. I'll leave this up to y'all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm gone.